Hey guys, how's it going? So, Blizzard announced that you can now pre-purchase the WoW expansion, Battle for Azeroth. Pre-purchasing, you know, here, please take my money before you show me whether it's any good or not. Eh, I'm not going to get started on that. Their lure for this seems to be that you can unlock four of the six races in advance because you pay them money to unlock the ability to unlock the thing. Eh, meh. I don't, I don't like the way they're doing it, but that's besides the point. What we're going to do then is we're going to take a little look at what you get, what the four are that you can unlock off the bat with achievements, and then we'll talk about how to unlock them after the fact. So I have Sean and I have Adam with me on Discord, so my apologies for the mic quality. I know it's not going to be the best, but this is just a quick little look. Okay, so for the Horde, you've got the High Mountain Tauren, which can be a Druid, or a Hunter, or a Monk, or a Shaman, or a Warrior, so it seems fairly standard. And what are their racials? Charge forward, knocking down your enemies, okay. Mountaineer, this is versatility, because yay, versatility! Uh, okay, mining skill and speed, that's minorly helpful, I suppose. <laughs> Rugged tenacity, it reduces damage from all incoming attacks, that's not too bad, I suppose, depending on how much it reduces it by. A chance to gather additional meat and fish. Yeah, that's... Pivotal! Moo! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, it's it's a steak dinner, so the classes that are available to it are, are perfectly fine. I was just having a look at the, the racial traits that are added. The Rugged Tenacity, I think it's going to be great for tank classes. The ball rush as well, charge forward, knocking down your enemies. I think it's going to be great for tanks, but I don't know. It's... I don't like that they don't get a paladin. <laughs> oh, of course, regular Toran got paladins, so you could be your coward in at long last, didn't they? Yep. Yeah. But not these. Oh, well noticed. But yeah, that is sad. What are you doing, Blizzard? You have like all the classes that I don't play. So, <laughs> not playing a high mountain torrent, I guess. Next, the Horde will get Nightborn. And they can be Huntards, Mages, Monks, Priests, Rogues, Warlocks, and Warriors. So, quite versatile. And their racials are Inscription. I know so many people who love Inscription. It increases magical damage dealt, so prepare to see every mage re-roll their, their race then. Uh, I'm not doing that on my warlock, but whatever. Uh, summon a flying book that acts as a mailbox. That's actually quite helpful for those of us who love the auction house. Enchant an area with arcane energy, damage and snaring nearby enemies. You see, that would be good if it was... If it's good, if that makes any sense. Reduces arcane damage taken. Uh, might be okay, possibly. I think, based on the visuals, that would be the class for Rachel. I mean, not class, race for Rachel. Yeah, I think she'll enjoy the pretties, especially when we talk later about their... Um, Purple armors. Yeah. What about the Alliance, then? What do they get? Well, firstly, they get the Lightforged Dranai. And with those, you can be a hunter, a mage, a paladin, priest, or warrior. Although I've got a feeling a Heladin or some sort of... I would say Holy Priest, but maybe Disc, it depends. Whatever your flavour is for healing, and the reason why is one of the racials. Increases blacksmithing skill and allows you to summon an anvil. Well, it's, that's a helpful variant on blacksmithing, to be honest. Um, reduces holy damage taken. Eh. Deal mighty holy damage to an area. Now, I don't, I don't quite know at this point what Blizzard's definition of mighty is. Now, one of the reasons I said they'd be good for a healer is this. Light's Reckoning. You erupt upon death, dealing holy damage to nearby enemies and healing nearby allies. Now, if that's even remotely decent, especially the healing part, because screw the damage to enemies just for a second, that's going to be fantastic. You know, you're doing your thing, and then, oops, you stood in the crap because you're not the best, and you pop. Uh, but that's okay, because you at least give the tank a little bit of a buff before you go, and I don't know, it could be all right. Experience gains from killing demons increased by 20%. Uh, I, yeah, I guess that's not too bad. I think it could be good for Grabbed Paladin as well. It's like they're in the fray, so when they die, they might heal the others in the fray. Like Adam said, if, if you're up at front and you know, you're know you playing as a rep pally or whatever, then obviously that's going to heal everyone that's near you, it's going to heal the tanks, it's going to heal everyone else, uh, and it's going to deal damage to the boss. Uh, I think that definitely has its place. What else? We get the Void Elves as well, which can again be Huntards, Mages, Monks, Priests, Rogues, Warlocks and Warriors. Reduces shadow damage taken. Okay, that's meh. Entropic Embrace, which your abilities sometimes send you into Void Locus, granting bonus to shadow damage or healing. Ethereal Connection. Reduces the cost of transmogrification and Void Storage, so that's again just flavour. Well, that's helpful, but yeah. Your spell casts are not delayed by damage. That's awesome. 
Spatial rift, teleport to a nearby destination. I don't know how that's going to work, if that's just the same as a shaman's sort of... <laughs> shaman? A shaman's sort of extra hearthstone thing. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think it's a, it's a good... Actually, I do quite like the model on this. I, I think it is a really nice uh, new look to it. Um, I like the idea that they've you know got the, the cheaper transmog and void storage. I think these... Yeah, they can play mages. These are going to be fantastic for mage. Your spellcasts are not delayed by damage. Yeah, purple blood elves. Really pretty. Okay, so now we know what we're getting, how do we get it? Well, this is based on achievements and not just simple ones. It's more matters to do because everybody loves that, right? It says, if you check the good old wow heads here, that Allied races are playable with Battle of Azeroth pre-purchase, live on January 31st. Dark Iron Dwarves and Zandalari Trolls will likely be available sometime after Battle of Azeroth when the level 120 storylines are complete, which, fair enough, that's what I thought anyway. To unlock the Allied races, you have to purchase the Battle for Azeroth expansion pack, then completion of a special quest achievement and reaching Exalted with the related faction, which who would have guessed, right? Progress on this is account-wide and not limited to a specific faction. For example, you could complete the required Nightborn achievement and faction on an Alliance character. Which is kind of cool. We have added the ability to track your progress towards unlocking each allied race. So for the Nightborn, you need to get Exalted with Nightfallen and complete the Insurrection achievement, which I would imagine nearly everybody already has, so that's nice. For the Void Elf, you need to be Exalted with the Augustian Reach and complete the You Are Now Prepared, because I wonder if when they, wonder when they made that line, if they knew it would be milked for all time. But yeah, that. For the Lightforged Draenei, you need to be exalted with the Army of the Light and have the You Are Now Prepared achievement as well. And for the High Mountain Tauren, you need to be exalted with the High Mountain Tribe, as you would expect, and to have completed Ain't No Mountain High Enough as the achievement. Which again, not particularly bad. Each of these allied races has a specific heritage armor set. These sets are purely cosmetic, so you'd unlock them and then you can transmog them onto any cloth, leather, mail, plate, whatever that that character is using. However, other races cannot use heritage armor sets from other races, so they are specific. And here's what they look like. For Void Elf, you get that. For the Light Forged Draenei, you will get this. Which, in my opinion, is actually pretty sweet. I quite like that, not gonna lie. High Mountain Tauren is High Mountain Tauren. And the Nightborn are, well, the Nightborn. I imagine this will get fixed. Each new race will get its own mount and its own tabard as well, so the Nightborn will get a Mana Saber and the High Mountain Tauren will get a Thunder Hoof and, you know, but they're again mostly either reskins or stuff that already existed anyway. And that's about it, really. I'm not currently subbed to WoW because Legion kind of burnt me out and I'm waiting for the pre-patch for the next X-Pack before I go back personally. But this is interesting. Looking at this gives me hope for the direction the X-Pack's going in, along with other things that have been said, and I am actually quite excited to get back into it. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it here. So thanks for checking this out, and we hope to catch you in the next one.